Now, professional golfer Phil Mickelson, he made the news this week for something other than a great play at a golf tournament. In a moment of peak, he had the temerity to opine about the high cost of living in California. Now, Mickelson is a champion golfer, and he makes a <coughs> boatload of money each year. Let's be honest about it. But he, re he came to the conclusion that he's almost paying 64% of his earnings in federal, state, and local income taxes now that California has enacted a millionaire's <coughs> tax. Now, fellow golf superstar, superstar excuse me, Tiger Woods, when he was asked for a comment, is reported to have said, like, duh, it's about time Phil wised up. I moved to Florida as soon as I turned pro. I'm saving a cool $5 million a year. Well, he didn't exactly say that, but it was something like that. Now, for Marylanders, this episode is merely amusing because during his first term in office, Governor Martin O'Malley championed the millionaire's tax as a short-term fix for the state's budget deficit. In response, many Marylanders said, feet don't fail me now, and they moved to a more friendly tax climate. The Maryland millionaire's tax was a failure. So boys and girls, what's the lesson here? The lesson is that even at some point, the very rich, the 0.05%, will object to the long arm of government being in their pockets. Now, they have the wherewithal to do something about it. And unfortunately, the rest of us don't have the same options other, to, other than to sit and complain.